When I was in college, I came across a gestural line that I sort of felt a kinship with, and a good bit into it, I was uh, realizing that the line was getting muddy, and so the next step was to cut the negative space out and layer the drawings. So um, what I do is uh, basically I start with a plan or an idea of how I want to approach the piece and then map out where the lines are going to be more or less. These are two pieces that are relatively recent. They're unframed. The individual drawings are not attached. So I can just sort of pick up the layers so you know what you're looking at. And so these are individual sheets of paper that are layered together. When I sit at the table, when I get at the table to draw, it's a very quick process, so I might take a handful of pencils, depending on the hardness. So this is a H. So I'll, I'll, I'll draw, and then as I'm drawing, rather than taking one individual pencil, drawing until it gets dull and sharpening it, I have all my pencils sharpened, and I, and I draw, and then I drop the pencils as I'm drawing. It enables me to keep the flow of the piece, and it keeps it immediate to me. And so these pencils probably get dropped a thousand times through the course of their life. But really what I like about them, and I think that it's with these pencils more than anything else I've ever used, is that the grades are consistent, not only within the pencil, but within the pencils. I use a handful of pencils each time I draw, and I don't want to go from one H to another H and it be a different quality line. It's very important that everything is consistent. Probably used them for 10 years and never had a problem with that. Our supplies have sort of gone the way of the hobbyist. These pencils are one of the few examples where the quality has not degraded. If, if anything, it's, it's gotten better. And it's kind of nice to go into an art store and not feel like a hobbyist, <laughs> feel like an artist. I'm always looking for the best materials I can find. I still buy new pencils, but I always come back to Faber Castell, and they're the best. I feel like every time I finish a piece, I've created something that didn't exist and, and has some sort of importance in the world, you know, so it's all worth it.